Welcome to a new week on The Rundown. On this episode, we have the latest on the blended retirement system. There's a blog on Navy Live on suicide prevention, and advancement results have been released. CMP released the official notification of eligibility for sailors to choose to opt into the blended retirement system in NAV Admin 259-16. The NAV admin provides details on eligibility to enroll into BRS, as well as the Navy's plan to send emails to all eligible sailors, notifying them of their options. Eligible sailors will have from January 1, 2018 to December 31, 2018 to decide whether they want to enroll in the new system. Opt-in eligible sailors will be required to complete the mandatory BRS opt-in course available January 2017 on JKO and Navy eLearning. Sailors unable to enroll in BRS during the 2018 window will be considered for eligibility on a case-by-case basis. Also, once service members choose to opt into the new system, they are no longer able to return to the legacy system. You can read details in NAV Admin 259-16 on NPC. There's a blog on Navy Live that lists the six things you need to know regarding BRS. The blog seeks to answer your questions and provides links to the training courses. The director of the 21st Century Sailor Office, Rear Admiral Burkhart, sent a message to sailors on Navy Live regarding suicide prevention. In the blog, Rear Admiral Burkhart discusses the challenges of dealing with stress and urges sailors to look out for friends and family members. She also asked that sailors talk with each other about dealing with stress and to step in when you notice someone in need. The 21st Century Sailor Office launched a One Small Act initiative to help show the importance of caring for our shipmates. They also launched the Sailor Assistance and Intercept for Life program, or SAIL. SAIL aims to supplement mental health treatment by providing support through the first 90 days of suicidal related behavior. Read the blog by Real Admiral Burkhart on Navy Live. For sailors in need of assistance, call or visit the website of the Military Crisis Line for 24-7 confidential support. Finally, results are out and congratulations to those sailors selected to advance to the next pay grade. Check out the list of those selected on Navy.mil. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at Navy.mil. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm Petty Officer 2nd Class L.J. Burleson. Thanks for watching.